Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and today we are talking about Sensionics SENS stock and Bionanogenomics BNGO stock. Concerning SENS stock news, we will discuss when their FDA approval will be, why the stock has experienced over 800% growth in the last year, why the company recently appointed an extremely important new director to their board of directors, and how we as investors can use the stock price targets by analysts to make money. Then we will discuss the latest BNGO stock news and why the world is starting to slowly adopt bionanogenomic sapphire optical genome mapping system, and lastly, we will go over if BNGO stock is still a good stock to hold on to. Go and press the like button right now for more stock news updates, comment which stock you own down below between BNGO stock and SENS stock, remember to subscribe and turn on all subscription notifications so you can stay informed, but right now let's get right into today's stories. Around this time last year, Sensionics SENS stock was was just a penny stock that was trading for around 38 cents per share until the stock surged in price all the way up to $5.56, but currently the stock is worth around $3.45. This puts the SENS stock price very close to the existing price targets by analysts that the stock is supposed to reach by this time next year. The reason for this rally is because retail investors absolutely love this stock and because the company's continuous glucose monitoring technology is so good. The stock also has a decently high short interest to where some investors think that once Sensionics receives their FDA approval for their 180 day ever since XL CGM system that it could cause a major short squeeze thus skyrocketing the price but that is yet to be seen. Many financial reporters think that the SENS stock price will reach anywhere between $4 to $6 by this time next year, or even before year's end in some cases, which would represent a 17% or a 74% increase if you invested into the stock right now. These growth numbers would even outpace the overall market, so investors are very excited to say the least. However, there is a drawback here because some bearish analysts think that the stock will fall back down to $0.80 cents per share. But I'll leave that for you to decide whether you're more bearish or bullish on the stock, so comment down below your price targets for SENS stock. The CEO of Sensionics said that because patients could not access doctor's offices due to the shutdowns earlier this year and even still going on currently in some areas, that SENS stock took a large revenue cut. However, now that things are returning to normal and opening back up, Sensionics sales and revenues are anticipated to absolutely skyrocket. Also, once Sensionics gets their FDA approval to sell their 180-day system in the United States, that will also be a major contributor to bolstering their revenues. According to the company's CEO, their revenues are set to triple, so for the investors that have already invested at a low average price, they could see major gains over the next few years as their revenue starts to scale. On Sensionics' most recent earnings call, the company's management says that the FDA approval should come in right before the year ends, and I agree with that. I'm thinking that Sensionics will receive their FDA approval around mid-December. However, this could be management stringing along investors to keep their hopes high so they can increase the stock price. But regardless, I do think that they will receive FDA approval sometime in December or even earlier. I don't think it's a question of if they are going to receive approval, it's a question of when Sensionics will get this approval. After the FDA approves their 180-day system, Sensionics will then try to get their other system approved that lasts a whole year. However, this could take a few more years before that even happens, because this system still needs to be more developed, it needs to be improved, and it needs to be commercialized effectively. The head of endocrinology and diabetes at the UHACO had to say this about Sensionics technology, and I quote, the Eversense CGM system delivers industry-leading accuracy, an improved patient experience, and an array of unique features that afford people, especially those in Medicare population, the opportunity to achieve improved health outcomes. End quote. Now, it is still good to keep in mind that SENS stock is a long-term speculative play, and much of the risk comes down to the company receiving the FDA approval, and how the company decides to scale their business as their revenues start to increase. We also have to remember that SENS has a high level of short interest, which has reached more than 20% at many points. But overall, I like the opportunity that Sensionics provides investors who are willing to take the risk. So it can be a good stock to buy depending on your 
your own risk tolerance, risk management, and how much you know about this stock. However, I personally do not own this stock, I am just watching it and it's on my wait list for the time being. But we have to remember that I am a long-term investor who hates risk and I rarely ever invest into companies that aren't already profitable. Over the last few trading sessions, Sensionic stock has been performing pretty well, which grants it a short-term technical score of an 80, which means that over the last month, the SENS stock has traded more positively than 80% of all other stocks on the market, which is a huge accomplishment, even according to their own industry, which would be the diagnostics and research industry, Sensionic ranks in the top 9% of stocks for the month. On average, SENS stock has a buy rate rating from analysts, which say that the stock is at least worth $4.13, so if your average price is below around $2, you are in a very great position right now. We also have more good news, because if we look at the stock's long-term technical score, which is a 74, that means that the SENS stock has traded more bullishly over the last 200 trading days than 74% of all other stocks. However, for their specific industry, they rank slightly lower on their long-term technical score, which is now a 64, but really anything above 50 is what we're looking for. Now the best news in my opinion actually comes from something that already happened, which is a very important person being added to their board of directors, and this person is none other than Mr. Morata who will serve as a class 1 director until 2023 and the reason why he was appointed as a new director is because of an investor's right agreement that Sensionix has with PHC Holdings. If you are a regular on this channel, you would know that PHC Holdings owns Essentia, which markets Sensionix ever since glucose monitoring system around the world, so this is a huge deal. PHC is a huge company with over 10,000 employees in over 125 countries. But now let's talk about the new director. Mr. Morata started his career at Johnson & Johnson and then he moved to Cardinal Health to be their vice president. Later he became the president and CEO of a PHC operating company that came came from Thermo Fisher. These are big names, and I think this guy will do great things for Sensionix due to his great connections because he is also a member of the Aspen Global Leadership Network. He also has a bachelor's degree of science from the University of Dayton and an MBA from the University of Denver, so I am very excited of how he will benefit Sensionix in the near future. Now I want to give a quick update on BioNanogenomics BNGO stock. BNGO is a life sciences company that has technology which really puts their competitors to shame. Due to their Sapphire Genome Imaging Mapping Tool, which can benefit a multitude of different kind of patients who struggle with conditions like cancer, developmental disorder, and tumors, this is potentially life-saving technology and this could take the BNGO stock price to all-time highs once again as they achieve greater adoption for their technology. According to BioNanogenomics' most recent financial report, they have grown their revenue substantially, which reflects that more and more institutions are purchasing their Sapphire system. Right now, their revenues reached almost $4 million just in the second quarter, which represents a 226% increase year over year, which is absolutely insane. So, how did BioNanogenomics achieve this triple-digit revenue growth? Well, for starters, the main reason for this revenue increase was due to BNGO selling 13 of their Sapphire systems for that quarter, which means that in totality, BioNanogenomics has sold around 121 total systems, and as this number increases, so will the adoption of this technology along with that company's revenues. The main takeaway is that more institutions, businesses, hospitals, labs, scientists, and faculty are using and buying this technology. The BNGO stock is anticipated to trade flat for a while, at least until a new catalyst or news causes the stock to break out again. I think that BioNanogenomics will finish out this year strong, which will be apparent in their next financial report, but until we can actually see their numbers, that's just my best guess. Currently, BNGO has a short-term technical score of 75, which means that the stock has traded very positively over the last month, but overall it has a score of only 36, and this takes into consideration technical factors, fundamental factors, and analysts' opinions on the stock. The price targets for this stock, according to analysts, currently range from the low end of $10 to the high end of $14 per share. So according to analysts, the stock is a good buy because right now the stock price is 
is around $5.20. But what do you all think? Comment your thoughts down below. Remember to like this video right now, especially if you made it all the way to the end and it helps me out a lot. Go and subscribe if you are new or if you want more stock news updates and I will see you in the next YT video.